everybody, this is Miles Luigi, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi Gives Up. So, uh, I went over the last video, I actually figured out, I, I figured out that that theme was from Banjo-Kazooie. We're gonna enter the area of bosses, because it's time for a story time! Gather around, kids, for a story time with Miles Luigi. Banjo-Kazooie was a game I've never actually owned, but my aunt, uh, and uncle once rented it for like two days, and the one time I was over at their house, I think I played for like five or six hours straight, and I've never played past, you know, that point in Banjo-Kazooie, and there's no way you could beat Banjo-Kazooie in five to six hours. But the level I got stuck on was like this sunken ship level and I figured out holy shit okay I, I figured it out the, the, the theme that's playing right now is that sunken ship level and this theme one of the main reasons why I recognize it is it's engraved in my freaking skull because I can never get past the sunken ship level so um <laughs> yeah I should probably go back and play Banjo Kazooie again at some point because I remember that being a really really pretty good game anyway we're back at the area bonuses just because I remember it while I went back here for uh I went all the way back to the yacht level that has Yoshi to grab a Yoshi and you know, a couple of mushrooms and I remember, oh yeah, didn't Higby say something that I didn't go over here? And he's absolutely correct, I did not go over here. Let's do it over here, I'm gonna actually screen shift for a change. A door! <sighs> That's very useful. A door, is there anything up here? Uh, ooh, 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 can I go on the ground? Yes I can! Cypher, you moron! I can go on the ground, your hack sucks. Anyway, uh, that'll take us back into this, like the sky station galaxy, whatever, I don't care. But yeah, that's basically my Banjo-Kazooie story. And even though it's been like, God knows how many years since I played Gun Banjo kazooie because they rented it like around when it came out, so that'd be like 1998? <laughs> like 13, 14 years ago. 13, 14 years ago! That memory of that one damn sunken ship level still stuck in my head. Oh my gosh. And chances are if I went back to that game, <laughs> There'd be a good chance that suck at level would be like, how the hell did I get stuck on this level? I, I don't know. I'd have to revisit the game. Fun fact, I do know as a fact people pop Trick does not like Banjo Kazooie. I'll have to ask him why again. He never tells me why, I just know he doesn't like it. Anyway, uh, today on Let's Play Luigi Gives Up, we're gonna go to How Elevate, where we probably can't bring in this Yoshi, and I want to get him for no real good reason. Yeah, that's right. So she's like, hey, this is a castle, dude. I'm gonna park outside. And, like, do nothing for you, Luigi. I gave up! That's right. Hello, everybody, this is Miles Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Yoshi Gives Up, and it looks like we're... This looks like a crushed ceiling. Are we gonna go to the past, where the ceiling wasn't crushed, and then, you know, the ceiling crumb is crushing down, and... No, we're... No, what's going on here? Uh... Okay, holy crap! This is totally a Donkey Kong Country 2 reference. To anyone who has played Donkey Kong Country 2, I'm going to try to take this shortcut over here. Uh, anyone who has played Donkey Kong Country 2, this is a reference to one of the castle levels in that game where you had to deal with a crushing, I guess you would call it, foreground. And this is, ah, oh, goddammit, Grinder. Ah! All my power-ups! Already! Annihilated! No! I did not come into this with power-ups for no damn reason like that. Well, I suppose I took a hit from a Grinder, but I lost the mushroom too, damn it. But uh, there's a level in Donkey Kong Country 2 that is exactly like this level, holy crap. And not only that, you got the correct music playing for this occasion, Cypher. So I'm very, very happy at your choice of level design and music here, because, uh... I, I kind of sort of enjoy this level. This is quite, quite a difficult level. What the hell is going on here? So many line guys got to keep track of so many saw blades. I think I'm safe over here. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Going back to where I had power-ups. I might have to go out of my way to get a cape for this section. So last time I held out to the left and it was that saw blade that got me. Oh, it was this saw blade that got me. So I'm just going to jump over it like a pro. There we go, yeah. And if I had a cape, I could just glide on smoothly and softly, much like uh, Dixie Kong does in Donkey Kong Country 2. Damn it. Well, on the bright side, I'm in the middle of the screen so my power-up doesn't get completely annihilated. And it's like, no, I don't have any more power-up. Oh, I can only take one hit. It's like I'm playing Super New Super Mario Bros. U. Funny story about New Super Mario Bros. U. At the very time of this recording, I've only played two levels. I've yet to... Oh, God, I'm totally dead. Oh, yes! 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 At this current time of this recording, I've only played two levels of New Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh man, I should... I really need to go play that game, because I've been told it's actually, for even New Super Mario Bros. game, quite good, so... It'll be interesting to see. I just haven't had time or motivation to play another damn New Super Mario Bros. game. Oh, whew! Okay, for a second I thought this crushing ceiling was going to come down, and then I wouldn't be able to enter in this door. Thank goodness! 
Woohoo! At our midway point, and I'm gonna assume we have another corridor to go through. It sure as hell makes sense. Eh, yes, we do. But this time, our layers have been reversed, and instead of the foreground layer coming down to crush Luigi, it is now the background layer that Luigi is hanging on around that is slowly and steadily going down. It's like I'm on a big giant elevator, and there goes another power up. Ugh, it looks like we have a lot of precarious precision movement to do here with the lots of spikes everywhere. Uh, I'll give Cypher a little bit of credit. The spike spread that's being used here is at least a little bit detailed. Oh damn it! Oh damn it! Oh damn it! No! Down away, my mushroom goes. Okay, what side do I? Okay, this is a bad side. This is a bad side. This is a bad side. Yes, I predicted it right. I would have been totally grindered in the face if I had stood on that side. I'm surprised I didn't get grindered in the face there. Here's a mace. He's ready to mace Luigi, but I am ready to dodge said mace. We're gonna keep on going down, down. I feel like I'm in the world's largest Tetris shaft, and I'm just currently on. A big four piece, although this, uh, how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even count with it being obscured. We're on a giant, giant, giant Tetris piece. Whoa, man. Luigi's hat just got cut in two. He's gonna have to get a new hat. I hope he doesn't, uh, give up on buying a new hat and he becomes the bold plumber. So, you know, Mario, the protagonist, who just takes his hat off and, you know, he has hair. And then Luigi, the bald plumber. Uh, that's actually an image I probably shouldn't set in the image of. The mind of my viewers, it's like the bald plumber. It's like, oh, what's scary, spooky, crap. Am I done here? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid something's like gonna come blasting down to totally bulldoze me. There's a door here. Safe state. Just because I'm curious. Can I go to my death now? Will this lead me to my death and demise? And it keeps going and going and. Well. You do die eventually. <laughs> okay, experiment over. Let's go ahead and just enter a door where we find a boss battle against a magnet? What the fuck are you? Okay, oh, damn it. I just missed all my power-ups. What the hell is this thing? Okay, and now that I'm actually looking at the name, he's supposed to be an oil drum. I, I thought he was like the world's most pathetic magnet, and that was a feather. Problem is, I totally missed a flower, and I totally missed the mushroom as well. The mushroom would have dropped, which would have been really, 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 really convenient, but the feather, you gotta hurry your ass up if you want to get the feather. I wonder if that's like the easiest to get feather I've seen so far. Probably not, but... Got another elevator ride around here, and now Oil Drum is tossing oil around. Oh gosh, okay, I don't want to miss any of these things. Ah, oh, damn it! Ugh, his AI changed. <sighs> not gonna call him a retarded boss battle yet. Not gonna call him a retarded boss battle yet. Can I get this feather? No! Oh! No! Must get feather! No! Must get feather! No! Well, let's just continue on now. Get a move on it. All right, we got him down to. Ah, oh, damn it! Hit boxes. Now's not the time for you to act up. I'm getting him down to one hit, which means we believe I can get this feather. Come on, get the no. Ah! Oh, it's no use. No! Must get feather! Get it, get it, get it, No, it's no use again! Get it! Go, go, go. No, it's no use! Got it! Fuck! Why? The game just crashed. I can pause, though. No! Oh, all this effort! It's no use! You can't get the feather! It's a red herring! You get the feather! The game crashes because, like, what the fuck? You got the feather? Damn it, Cypher! Why? Let's just go for the mushroom. Alright, we got a power up. And one more hit on the oil can to go. I think we got this. Oh god, the oil can is chasing me now. Okay, I need a block. Damn it! Spin jump only. He is chasing you, Miles Luigi. Don't let him get you. Okay. No! Fudge! Ah! 
No! Oh, what the hell was I supposed to do there? Ah! Alright, we're going in with- oh, never mind. What kind of hitbox is that 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 completely missed him? Holy crap, okay, I could really use the extra power up now. Let's just play it safe. Damn it, why the hell did I jump? Oh, I jumped completely out of instinct. Okay, we got an extra hit. We got an extra hit for when he goes berserk with one hit left. Let's actually save this block for until the next block becomes visible, possibly. There we go, okay, hit him. All right, duck, duck, just take the hit because you're going to kill him. Oh, why the hell did I get blasted over there? Okay, no, no! I tried to jump and pick up the block at the same time like I do in Kaizo Mario. Fuck! This stupid! Yes! Ah! Ah, this, this thing. This is a retarded boss battle. This thing. Look at that hit stupid hitbox. Die! Mother piece of shit. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Just prance around, you big bucket of oil. Thank you. That's going to hit you, regardless of your crappy hitbox! There. Now, Mr. Chase Mode. Die! You! Yes! Bye-bye! You're gonna get clean. That's right. Bye-bye! 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 <clears throat> Looks like the master oil barrel was no match for the quick movements of Luigi. Too bad the desert is all full of oil. Cheese, oil spills, and cut down forests. Some environment. The environment is... Kids. It is. Oh, gosh. Oh, do I dare do the next level? I should at least look at it. It kind of makes an episode right there, if you ask me. Uh, say hi to DK. That's an interesting level name. What is this level? I'm just kind of curious. I'm not certain if I'll do the level. I just want to preview it. Sticker press symphony. Uh, I may want to bring power-ups to this one. Yeah, we'll do that next time. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Luigi Gives Up... Get off, scum! You <laughs> barrel! And on the next episode of Let's Play Luigi Gives Up... Brambles. Ah. Uh. So this has been Miles Luigi. See you all next time.